Well, it looks like we're saving Doug. Lol, JK, we're saving Sean. Nobody likes Doug. Right, let's move this tractor. This is the problem. I know, Sean. I'm trying to help. I don't know about everyone else, but at least I'm trying. Ah, here comes Kenny. He'll save the day. Okay, he'll save Duck first. That makes sense. He is family after all. Now put Duck down and help us. We need some muscle. Kenny. Kenny, you spineless son of a gun! Ah, uh, sorry, Sean. Let's try this tractor again. This is the problem here. But where's Clementine? She moved a car before. She was like the major turning point in us escaping back there. Oh, God damn it. Seriously? We've lost Sean. Oh, here comes the cavalry. Oh, too late. Your son's already dead. Sorry about that. Seriously, it knocks me off. If there were more people here, this would never have happened. And that's fact. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. Stitch you up? You need polyfiller to fill in those gaps in his neck. He tried to save me. Yeah, too right. I did. Don't know about everyone else. I know, son. So angry. Shouldn't have lost Sean. <sighs> Poor Herschel. Seriously. Should never happen. And they're all kinda to blame. Seriously. It's alright coming over looking all somber now, but it's too late, isn't it? Yeah. That seems to be taking it well. Nope, he's giga mad. I'm sorry. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Well, to be fair, nobody else helped. And even if he did help, it was futile. If I rescued Duck, he still would have been dead. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill his your daughter, and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out, and never come back. Fine. Bye, Herschel. Here's hoping you suddenly don't get the urge to put zombies in your barn, and then someone comes along with a group of survivors and accidentally opens up, and then you lose about a third of your family. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. I'll take it. If I stop here, I think it's a little bit awkward. Let's ride, Clementine. This is Macon? Seriously? It's not the tourist hotspot I thought it was. In fact, it's a bit of a dive. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Yeah, at least we got here. New base of operations, hopefully. My god, the place has been ravaged. It's crazy to think of the destruction this kind of situation brings on. You just don't fathom it until you walk into these kind of places. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. I could give you a hand. Fuck. So can we! Don't know why I've suddenly become the voice of the voiceless. Or at least the grumbly. Oh, not a duck! We can't cope with two deaths! Wait, was he bitten? Who are you? Where did you come from? And why do you look so clean? Your baseball hat's white. Clementine's is trash, but yours is sparkly. Must be Daz. Wow, there is a lot there. Did not expect that. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Whoa. Chill out. Are. It could be dangerous. Dangerous? She's the one Worse. wielding a they gun. Right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. Like yeah, we're fine. Know. Thanks for asking as well. People running outside and drawing their attention to us. Again, firing a gun. Folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? 
What is your problem? I, I have to pee. Ugh, awkward timing. Then just go. Might be better for you to go. It's getting a little bit hairy in this conversation. Kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Harley and Glenn. And who the hell are you, old guy? I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We don't know that yet. We have to end this. No. Whoa! Over my dead body. He might just still be human. One hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. See, he's, he's fine. fine. Do fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. But he's not bitten. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Penny, stop it! Jeez, Captain Dramatics over here. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Yeah, chill the you F out, bro. Out of here. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody oh, thanks, Kenny. That helps. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Listen to the girl with a gun. Anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They um, find us. not a wise move. Again, she's the one with the gun, and you're getting aggressive with her. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's well, a we big don't deal. know that. You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. None of that matters. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee. Yeah. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. How do you know that? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's Too right. In muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. Or he could she just be won't. dirty. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then. Once she's dead, now he's just scaremongering. What is your effing problem? Fast. And then there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it because that boy is bitten. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. We are not. We'll throw you out. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me. Lee, the voice of justice. Before anyone else in here. What the hell now? Clementine, what have you done? Oh, there's a walker inside! Come on! People need to do stuff and do stuff now. Oh, God. I thought we solved this whole balance and coordination problem, Lee. You clumsy oaf. Once again. There she is. I'm coming, Clementine. Hold on. Get off of her. No. Oh. Bun mash for justice. Must save child. What the hell? Okay, not only are you hot, you are a okay. damn good shot. Just great, thanks. You can be on my team any day. Hashtag team Lee. Ah, oh, I forgot. Gunshots attract the undead. God damn it. Stop scaremongering! I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. Yeah, but if you didn't kill the undead, we'd be in the same scenario you've been dreading about. Yeah, so heart attack's an unfortunate thing, but at least he's quiet now. Let's try and figure out what's going off. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. 
Through the office? How do you know? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. I am a teacher after all. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Good, keep him in check. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This Nothing's exactly permanent. Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. What? There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're crazy. And if I remember back, Petrie's where the whole thing was kicking off to start off with. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. Ah, very I'm useful. Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Your dad's a douche. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. All right, Kenny, he's got old Captain Kirk on us. Doug, you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him. Oh, someone's PO'd that someone's taken over the helm. 